Hi Cryptic Kids and Queens, welcome to my channel, my name is Natushi, so I'm going to give you a quick update on what's happening right now on B2C. We all know that the market is going sideways, but I do have a trade alert. Remember, I'm no financial advisor, you need to look up everything yourself first, but I'm going to give you the scenario that I'm looking for right now when it comes to B2C. Make sure to always be updated when, the com when it comes to the currencies, forex indices, etc i'm giving you everything and if you if there's any specific coin that you want me to look at make sure to tell me so i can look at it for you you have the link in the description down below the video for twitter and if you are someone that wants to trade both cryptocurrencies with index forex a great platform i love i love this platform i've been trading trading on this platform since 2020 never had any trouble with it and this is Pr prosperity fx you have the link also of course in the description down below the video for this platform what they offer is a very tight spread and they also have the option for you to get funded and get the 80 percent back of the profit share this is amazing i love this one so much but let us go in quickly to btc and i'll show you what we have right now because we are going overall in a sideways market you know the market is just bouncing in between certain levels but i do have two fibonacci levels here that is very important one of them is 34,255. the other one is 34,435. so why i'm looking at this level is because if you are going a little bit to the higher time frames you can see that it will let us go to the daily so we've been going up for many many days the market gave us one two three weeks to the upside now the market obviously needs to have a pullback down at one point and this can be what we're looking for because we are also going in a sideways market when you're going to the four hourly you can see that the market can potentially give us a head and shoulder formation to drop down to 33,380. So what we're looking at right now is the Fibonacci level. So the most important thing when it comes to this is to see if the market, we have already, let me see, zooming, no, we, we are almost retesting this level. The market is still on the 30 minutes creating high highs and high lows. So if the market drops down now to potentially this level at 34,096 and 34,063, this can be where the market pushes up to retest these levels. We just might see the market giving you a break above the level and then see the market start to reverse back down. So this is very, very important. I want you to be on my live streams because on my live streams, I do share a lot of information information when it comes to these fake outs and how the market is looking while it's reversing but this is what what we can expect the market to do if we are retesting these levels for that next potential leg down and when we are zooming out to take profit level for me will be down at 33,380 we also have 33,128 but the, the most important thing is that we'll see the market retest this level for that continuation up for that next potential leg down. The thing that is not going to make this move valid is if we see the market, of course, dropping down right away. It can definitely do that. But if we see the market break above this level, have a retest from above, because trust me when I say this level will be retested one way or another. So if we see the market breaking above us create a high low level here, then that is, of course, the momentum up once again, because we are overall between... 30, uh, 35,000 around 800 and down at 31,840. This is the levels that we can consolidate because as I spoke about on my previous videos, we are consolidating after this big momentum. If you do not know how to trade in between support and resistance zones, make sure to look at this, the fake out strategy that will change your life. And I'm telling you, it will change your life. And the reason for that is because when we are bouncing in between support and resistance zones, the market is doing certain things around these levels. And as fast as you understand how the market is behaving around these levels, the more secure you will feel when you're taking your trades, you place your order. And because you've been back testing this so much after I've showed you how to back test it or what to look for, then you're able to actually see what the market's going to do next because the market is doing the same thing over and over again. So 
I'll pin this one for you up here in the corner and just, you know, make sure to look at it and back test it because the market on cryptocurrencies are usually going sideways, especially after we do have these big momentum. So if you do miss the big momentum, expect the market to go sideways after that. Find your support and resistance zones and trade in between them. Of course, I'm no financial advisor, but this is how we can use the market for our benefit instead of just waiting for the next big momentum. Because if you do not know, the market on cryptocurrencies are going sideways between 20 to 40 to 60 days. So just have that in mind. So you don't want to wait two, one or two months for the market to do anything while you can actually take advantage of it while you, you, you know, while you're looking at it each and every day. One thing that I want to talk to you also about USDT, we are going sideways here too. So, it's, you know, these two are correlating against each other. So if the market potentially drops down to 6.81% or 6.6 to 8%, and we are respecting this level, this can be where the market continue to, to push up to potentially around 7%. If we break above this level, we can uh, reach 715 or 7.26 but everything depends on if we're gonna continue to go sideways here too because it, it, it is the exact same thing on usdt we are going in between these levels so we're waiting for the market to give us a break obviously but if the market's gonna continue to consolidate for a while before that's happening and it's almost a weekend too so we can definitely see some sideways uh things happening for some time now but if the market does respect this Fibonacci level for that push up, that is conf a big confirmation that BTC will actually do exactly what I told you it was supposed to do. It's a small move, but it's still a move that we can take advantage of. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification so you know when I am live tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day or these videos that I give you. Have a fantastic day.